Hello, Hello everybody. Everyone. Welcome to the Thursday afternoon stream with me, Rob. And me, Rosie. And we've got another special little guest today. We have. We have a third member, a little BB. He's being very quiet. He is being very being quiet good. at the moment. He's been a good, he's been a good BB. Um, <laughs> hello to everyone in the chat. Hello to our amazing mod team. That is Oliver Bath and Domino. Um, today we're going to be showcasing some Death Stranding gameplay. Um, before we do anything, um, I'd just like to clarify the sort of the spoiler situation for this live stream. There will be mm -hmm. no story spoilers whatsoever. Um, the save that I'm playing on at the moment is in chapter 6 of the game. So if you're playing Death Stranding and you're a bit earlier than that in the game, then you might see some things, I don't know, some environments or just things in terms of gameplay that you might want to see. So if you want to be going in completely cold, you know, you've been warned. We're at chapter 6. Yes. But I'm not going to be doing any story missions. You're not going to see any cutscenes. Um, this stream is basically, because I've been getting lots of, tweets recently <laughs> which maybe we should address why i'm in a coat we're doing i'm doing sam porter bridges cosplay. yeah we have the sam porter bridges <laughs> here with us um uh, i've been getting quite a few tweets and messages just asking about various gameplay mechanics and just the nuts and bolts of how it works in gameplay terms and what you can and can't do things like that and how the structures work how seeing other people's structures work so this is a stream for me to just show some cool things that I really like yeah. in, in gameplay terms. And for you in the comments, if you have any questions to ask the comments. And please, if you're in the comments and you've already finished Death Stranding or you're further in the game than this, please, just no spoilers, please. If, you, if you're posting spoilers in the comments, the mods will... The mods will, will take destroy action. destroy you. We have the mods and also we have Dan Bans. Yes. And you don't want a Dan Ban. So... <laughs> So, are, are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Here we go, here we go. Um, so what I'm doing first, uh, what I'm currently doing at the moment, because I've decided I'd like to go for the Platinum Trophy. Oh, you've, you've decided. I've decided I want to go. So what I am currently doing is uh, working towards the Legend of Legends Trophy, which is a gold trophy, which requires you to get an S rank in... I think 80 in total, but 20 of each category of Ooh. premium deliveries. Of which, And there are four categories, so you need to do at minimum of like 80 yeah. S rank. And the only way to get like the Legend of Legend rank is to do it on hard mode. So I've, I've switched to hard mode for the duration I of this trophy. I think I started the game in hard mode. Because I think, I remember we were looking at it, we were like, oh, do we do normal mode or hard mode? The and cool I thought, thing is you can change the difficulty yeah. whenever you want in the game. And it doesn't really affect this trophy as long as you're as long as you switch to hard mode while you, before you start doing these deliveries. So at the moment, what I'm doing, um, you'll see this is a, a road network that myself and other players so have cool. built through this area of the map, which allows me to just, you know, I'm going through mule territory at the moment. They don't stand a chance when I'm speeding through <laughs> in my special vehicle. This is amazing for you for me to see because for a bit of context, I've just started chapter two in this game. So at the moment, I've got none of this at the moment and comparing your world already to my world, I'm just like, wow, I'm going to be able to do all this stuff soon. <laughs> I'm just having a look at some comments there. So Scott Johnston has said, so tool necks are in this, I guess. That is like a customizable hologram you can attach to your structures you build or other people can attach them to structures they build. Um, and it's just a fun little Horizon Zero Dawn Easter egg. Like, there are lots of little Horizon Zero Dawn holograms you can attach to structures that are, that are very cool. And yes, yeah. one of them is a tool neck. You will have seen it just then. Have you attached um, any to anything? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, you have to upgrade your structures to level two to be able to customize them. And you can add, like, a piece of music or a piece of audio recording um, from within the game. Um, or a hologram that you've unlocked. And there are various character holograms that you can attach, like any of the characters from the game once you've unlocked them. Yeah. Um, or you can attach a Horizon Zero Dawn Easter Egg hologram to one of your structures. That's amazing. To make it fun and cool for people I, when they see it. I was going to say, I did see a question earlier, but sadly their name has vanished, but they asked, um, what was it like meeting Kojima in person? Because obviously you've just done the interview with Kojima and everyone was, was so thrilled for you. It was amazing. Um, when you in when you when you meet people who you're a big fan of in a professional capacity, there's always like more of a 
Um, you have to be professional, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's not like I go, you can't just oh my like, God, Hayley Kajima, I love you so much. Even though inside I was, I desperately wanted to talk to him about, you know, various things. But, you know, we had a strict, you know, we had like a 30 minutes slot to do our interview. Kojima was very busy that day. He had a, a talk at BAFTA that he was, oh dear, I've just run over some cargo. That's destroyed. No. Sorry. Oh, that upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> not the cargo. Sorry, not the cargo. Not the cargo. But it was amazing getting to to speak to him and to sort of probe his brain about um, about the game. So, yes, it was amazing. I, it was a fascinating, because the interview as well, I was the lucky one who got to edit it, and even hearing what... <laughs> lucky you. Lucky me. And with like even, translation, yeah. Even hearing what he was saying, I've seen the game like in a really fascinating light, like what he was saying about the hands and the ropes and the whole chiral network. It really is a really interesting take on it. Rosie, what's BB's name? Oh, have we got a name for BB? We haven't got a name for BB. What should we call? Maybe the chat can help us decide. People leaving their vehicles on the road. Have some class, people, says James Dolby. I agree. <laughs> Don't just be parking your stuff on the road. So I have to... Oh, it's ridiculous. So was that an online player who left another vehicle on the road? Yes, I think so. <gasps> um, Even worse. So someone else is just lazily... Um, do I have anything for the, for here? I've got some lost cargo, so this is going to get me... Isn't going to get me any S ranks or anything. I was going to say, because as well, we just saw a bit of the whole entrust and don't entrust system. Yeah. For people who aren't familiar with that, what is entrusting and not entrusting? Because that's got to do with, like, the online elements of this game as well, doesn't it? Um, so if you pick up a piece of lost cargo and it's for, say, a specific person but they're like miles out of your way. Mm -hmm. You can entrust that cargo either, you can, at any delivery terminal you get to, you could entrust it and it just gets put back into the online ether. And so another player could then come and pick up that piece of cargo in their game yep. and finish the delivery for you. Uh -huh. They get lots of likes. You get like half the amount of likes you would for a full delivery if you entrust cargo. So mm -hmm. you still get likes for entrusting cargo. Um, but quite a lot of the the meat and potatoes of the game is sort of <laughs> optimize working out where you're going optimizing how much working out how much you can carry mm -hmm. and making decisions about what you are going to and what you're not going to take with you um so if you've got a piece of cargo that's for someone like a million miles away and it's really heavy and you need to free up space then it makes sense just to entrust that cargo um so yeah, that's how, the entrust, else, that's so, so that's how interesting. the entrust system works. Okay, so currently what I'm doing in the game at the moment is I am in the middle of building a network of zip lines, which will which enable me to very quickly I saw you tweet get about from this. place to place. And my my network is is coming along quite nicely. Um, and when you're going for the platinum trophy and trying to get these legend of legend ranks on these deliveries, it's sort of crucial to be able to get from the places you've already been to get between them very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing. Um, but we can, we can do, if, if there's something someone wants to see in the chat, then we can, we can do that. I'm going to take this hood off because I'm getting warm already. It's going to get very warm. I know, but the right. time falls going to fall on your head and then you're well, going to grow old. So it's not raining at the moment. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I believe I've seen quite a few people ask for the baby to be called Robbie because that is Rob and Rosie combined. Also, it's just another way of saying Rob, isn't it? So. <laughs> <laughs> it is your little, your little Rob. It's a Robbie. Would you like to see an example of my zipline network? Yes. Okay, so yes, please. We can see here. I've got, and I'll show you how premium deliveries work as well. So I've got. That goes to South North City. Okay. So this delivery of pesticides needs to go to the Time Fool Farm. Mm -hmm. which is quite far away down there. Yeah. I have already gone to the trouble, like Blue Peter, of building a zipline <laughs> network. I've built a zipline network already. Um, You're going to get I'm your Blue gonna, Peter badge. Okay, so if we go for this, if you press, press right, you can select a premium delivery, and mm -hmm. if you'll see, that changes the, um, the parameters for what constitutes a good delivery. So regular delivery, you have to deliver 15 kilograms of it. Yep. Premium you have to deliver 90 kilograms. Um, so we're going to do that. Hopefully I've got enough space on my back for 90 kilograms of just I was going to say, you're going to be able to carry that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, easily. Yeah. Just get it on. Don't need the truck. I'm going to be zip lining there. Right, okay. So here go the precious chemicals. Get on my back. 
We've got a lot of people go. now saying that they want to see the zip lines and uh, Faffy Waffle said, never use zip lines. Well, so. zip lines are the way to go. They really are. And I'm going to show you. So basically, it would take, you could do this um, just normally on foot, but you run the risk of like going through heavy time fall and you could go through an area of BTs. Yeah. BTs are dangerous when you're trying to deliver cargo safely because they vary. If you get caught by BTs, your cargo is going to get ruined. So here's my network. This is a zip line. And they have a 300 meter range on them. So right now. So I'm did you go to the other side and then built the connection part as well? You have to build each part yourself. So yeah. when I first built this network, you have to walk the route and you have to physically put down each zip line. And they have to be able to clearly see each other. Like there have to be no obstacles in the way. Oh, man. Um, and they have a 300 meter range. So as you can see, I've got another one over there. And when you connect them together, just oh, really that's satisfying. so satisfying. And there's the weather station up there, which is the first place we're going to be going to. And one of the things I love about Death Stranding is you you get a real... The world is absolutely massive, but you get to know it so intimately. Yeah. Like, you walk the route. So there's no sort of, like... Quite often in games, you'll be looking at the... I'm in a BT area right now, but it doesn't matter. They can't get me. I'm on a zip line. Um, oh, so the BTs can't interact with you. Well, you could... Potentially zip line through a BT, but you're going so fast that they're not going to be able to catch you. Yeah. So it's like, it's amazing for just oh, this getting, is beautiful. For get, getting this through these <laughs> areas. No hassle. <laughs> no hassle traversal. Um, but yeah, you get to know the world really intimately. And so quite often in games, you'll be playing a game, but most of the time your focus is on like the w the mini map in the corner you never quite often you're not looking at the world itself yeah but in death stranding you're constantly doing that you're constantly sort of looking where you're going and like you feel when you've played it for as long as i have which is a good like 50 hours now yeah you were you getting always, credit you, earlier you feel like a guide you feel like i will show you around i know the best routes through you will <laughs> learn you will learn the best routes through various places yeah um you will learn where to, where's the best place to put a time full shelter, where to go to avoid BTs, where to avoid mules, that yeah. kind of thing. Man, I'm loving this zip wire system. Yeah. And I see that I'm not the only one. I've seen you be getting likes on them as well, which has been great. That's what I want. I want people to come and like my zip lines. We're Billy Akira says, um, I didn't know about the zip lines. Lol, I'm not that far yet. <laughs> Zip lines really are revolutionary. Obviously, um, when it comes to placing structures like zip lines, you have to have unlocked that region on the chiral network first. Yeah. So in the story, when you're playing through the story and you first come to an area for the first time, it won't be connected to the chiral network, so you won't be able to build structures like zip lines. So that prevents you from just, you know, charging through the story, building zip lines everywhere yeah. straight away. So like when you first play it you have to you have to walk the path first before you can then go back and put zip lines oh all over man i know because i was just thinking that if this was me i'd have to walk this whole route <laughs> yeah and there's mule territory there as well which is dangerous because mules are they the characters who want to steal your cargo they are yes they are like roving bands of humans who are addicted to cargo and right. delivering cargo and so they will try and steal your cargo by any means necessary. Oh, wow. So when you're making a delivery, it, it pays to avoid them if you can. Yeah. We are here at the Time Fool Farm. I've got your pesticides, guys. <laughs> now, this is where they brew, they brew Time Fool beer here. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> in the world of Death Stranding, they, um, they use the Time Fool, which is the rain. And you can see they've got all these structures out here that allow them to... I don't know, I guess, harvest the time fool. Nice. Okay, so I'm hoping this will give me a Legend of Legends rank. As you can see, when you get to a, a delivery area, everything you've got that pertains to that specific place will be glowing purple on your back. Mm. So I know that all these things on my back are, for, are to be delivered here. Hello. I saw a question from someone earlier, but I can't see it right now. I believe it said, does the cargo ever, in, like when you've got so much cargo, does it ever frustrate you seeing that much cargo, like when you're walking around or traveling? I mean, I don't know if frustrate is the right word. Yeah. Like it, it has a weight to it and a very deliberate weight to it. 
Um, but there are various different ways you can carry cargo. When you're zip lining, you have to carry it on your back. But you can you can put it in a vehicle. You can you can have floating carriers attached to you. So they're like basically floating shopping trolleys that you attach to you, and they float. Yeah. And you can load them, and I think each one can take like a level one floating carrier can take 300 kilograms of cargo. So you can have stuff on your back, stuff on the on the floating carriers. Um, I wouldn't call it a frustration, <laughs> but it's like that's part of the game is. And if you're on foot and you've got lots of stuff on your back, your stamina will decrease. You will have to constantly balance yourself if you're going over rough terrain. And it can be very treacherous. So anyway, here's, here's the 90 kilograms worth of pesticides you ordered. Time full farm. Stephen Y asked a good question. He says, or he asks, how long did it take you to build that whole zipline route? Not that long. Like really? The bit from the weather station to the time full farm, which you've just seen now, yeah. I built that in the half an hour before the stream. I was like, okay. Really? It's just a case of walking around, uh, walking that route and just plonking the zip lines down in good places as you go. And then you can take the zip line back. You don't have to walk that. Give me the likes. Another trophy you have to get is you have to get a five-star connection level with every single facility in the game. So... I'm working towards that trophy as well. Is the platinum a hard platinum to get, do you think? I, I saw someone ask earlier. In terms of difficulty, I don't think it's hard, but it is quite time consuming. Yeah. yeah. So you can see in the bottom right, I'm just about to hit three star connection Ooh. level with this facility. Or are you? I'd, I'd hope so, after delivering all that. I better oh. get a Legend of Legends rank as well, please. Yes. Yes. Lots of likes. Three stars. Yeah, nice. And you'll see there. When your connection level increases with a specific facility, your chiral bandwidth will increase. And chiral bandwidth is essentially a currency that dictates how many structures you can build at any one time. Yeah. So, for instance, every time I put a zip line down, it costs me 500 chiral bandwidth. Um, and I've, as you can see there, my maximum chiral bandwidth has now gone up to 20,360. Nice. So, you know, that's 500 bandwidth for one zip line yeah so you're thinking that would allow 20,000 allows me to place 40 zip lines for example <laughs> it's basically a measure that stops you putting you know a million zip lines just all over yeah the place. you can't you can't just excessively build there is a limit to how much you can build but that limit does increase as connection levels with each facility increase so it pays to be making these connection levels higher and so on and so forth Ooh. excellent there we go. Apparently, I've got a little bit of an echo, so I'm going to try and fix this. Let's have a look. Du, 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 du. Where's the other microphone that I'm potentially... <laughs> I've only got... I'm just speaking to the streaming lords. I've only got one microphone plugged into my... Rob's only got one as well. Yep. I've just gone up another star, Rosie. You've gone up another star? I've gone from two, two and a half stars to four stars. They nice. liked that pesticide. Well, I'm guessing it will do them great. So what's all this then? So is this... So when your connection level goes up, also the materials that you have available at that facility also increase. Mm -hmm. um, so now you can see at this specific facility, I have access to 2,800 resin, 3,336 metals, so on and so forth. And you can claim these materials. You do have to physically carry them if you claim them. Um, and you can take those materials to various structures. In fact, I'll, I'll show you now. I'll upgrade one of my zip lines just outside yes. with some of this material. Awesome. And you can see how it works. Um, so there's my Legend of Legends rank. There's my Porter badge. As you can see, I've got 27 Legend of Legend ranks <laughs> now. I need about 80 for the Platinum. Oh, really? But I'm okay. making good progress. Like, I only started doing these, like, the other day. Um, but, yeah. I'd say I saw a question earlier as well from, from Jack Ringer, and he asks, how's the water in this game? The water is amazing. It's we so will, pretty. We'll show you the water. Show us everything. <laughs> Thanks. The, oh, he's given me some resins. Lightweight. Okay, thank you. I will just put them straight uh, on my back. Oh, no. whoa, that looks huge. Okay, so I've optimised it so it slots in that. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, because, you know, if, it, if it's 
towering above your head, you're more likely to topple over and lose your balance if you've mm -hmm. got cargo stacked really high. So it pays to optimize where your cargo is stacked. And you can do that on this screen just by pressing triangle. I've already done it now, so I can't do it again. Um, but you press triangle and the game will automatically optimize where the cargo is stored on your body. Can you do it like manually? Because I know, for example, you can pop it on different parts yeah, of your body. You can do it manually. You can do it manually. <laughs> Hello, Robin Rosie says Midnight Aura. Hello. Hello. Uh, Wayne asks, Rob, how can you view all of your likes or specific likes without physically going to your structures? That's yeah, a good that question. That is a good question. Okay, so if you come into the menu, you come down to bridge links, I believe. And I can see, uh, in terms of, spe of specific structures, I think you, you might actually have to go up to them physically. Um, but I can see on this page that I've received a total of 252,000 likes from <laughs> other players, 33,000 likes from NPCs. Wow, I love how NPCs can like it. I'm just looking at some other people. 128 Legend of Legend ranks that person's got. Flipping heck. Wow. And how many did you say you've got again? I've got 27. 27. Currently. Oh, yeah. wow. Um but you can sort of like hover over the map and you can, let's see the structure. I think that is my timefall shelter there. Um, it doesn't say how many likes it has, unfortunately. So maybe you can't, unless I'm ma being going mad and missing it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you look at other people's structures, so I think you can see how many likes they have. I oh, know it just says the, the creator's name. Like It says uh, Leon. Virum Rex. Is he got? Is that Tidus? Yes. And nice. That player has one hundred and eleven thousand likes altogether. Well done, Tidus. So in terms <laughs> of specific structures, I think you actually have to go up to that specific structure to see how many likes it has received. Unless there is a way you can do it that I don't know of that someone else that someone else knows. Um, but yeah, I was going to show you how you claim materials and use them to upgrade structures. So. Apparently, Blind Reflection says you can press X on your profile and see likes per structure. Can you now? Let's try it out. I'm going to. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Just by there pressing you go. X. So, structures. Number of structures built, 125. And <laughs> you can see my most recent structures. Zip line, zip line, zip line, zip line, <laughs> zip line, zip line, zip line. Okay, so... Now, why is no one liking my zip lines? Oh, They're amazing. Well, that one's got 67. 67 likes. 40. And you can also see the time and date created look. So. What's that? So, one, 20 past one in the morning, <laughs> half one in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Rob, I think yeah. you've had a couple of late nights. That was you? last night. That was last night, yeah. yeah. Actually, no, that was the night before. Uh, yes, I was up late building my zip line network. I'm very into it. So, here's all my zip lines. Oh, Ladder. Why am I ladders not getting any? Why am I not getting any likes for these amazing structures? Wait, people just haven't come across them yet. You've got a generator uh, which got fifty-eight likes. I mean, I I know I've got time fool shelters that have multiple thousands of likes because mm. I've seen them. I don't know why it's not. Change sort method, sorted by like. There we go. There. Look. Oh, by look likes. at okay, those. So I've got some time fool shelters that are very popular indeed. That's not viral. So um, I've seen a bridge that had like 77,000 likes or something, Whoa. which is pretty cool. I love liking what other people do as well. I'm always like, I, you, you can't just give them a like. It's always like, 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 And then Tom's like, this is a good day. And I'm like, yes, it is a good day. This is really cool. I had no, even, I, I had no idea this page even existed. Connections made with other players. Oh, strike, uh, Strike 7, I think that's how you pronounce your name, asks, can this game be played offline? Yes, yes it can. But if you're playing it offline, um, you will not see other people's structures appearing in your game, obviously. Oh, so it will just be purely... Yeah, it will be your stuff. And you can still play the game like that, of course. But it's, it's very helpful. And I, there are a couple of times where I've been very grateful in a really bad situation and my car goes deteriorating there's like heavy time full rain coming down and yeah like, please and someone's built a time full shelter and you're like oh and that's you what i need right now i need a time full shelter amazing. it's great because i get really sad at the moment because i'm so early on i'm still like haven't got half of this stuff yeah. available and i want i need that you will get it rosie and then my cargo won't go rusty and horrible <laughs> maybe i should put a sign down next to this hey people coming if you're watching the stream 
come and give my stuff a like. Hang on, have I got a sticky gun? I have. Can you like can your I show own you, things? Can I show you the sticky gun, Rosie? Yeah, show me the sticky this gun. This is cool. So if you're like, I mean, th that's an easy piece of ceramics to get. But say if it was in a river and mm -hmm. I could and I didn't want to go into the river to get it, you can. Oh, that is so cool. Aim your sticky gun and then just catch it as it comes towards you, which I really, really enjoy. That's so doing. cool. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is a level one um, zip line. And to get it to level two, I need to contribute 240 chemicals and 480 special alloys. Okay. So I should have those available. I hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be annoying. I've just noticed the little lights on, on his bum. That's my... My special exoskeleton legs. Oh, it's this okay. This is my sort of um, all-terrain legs, which enable, if you're hiking through the mountains, I've been doing a lot of mountaineering recently up there. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, they allow you to get through the snow a lot easier. Oh, brilliant. There's like a power exoskeleton that allows you to carry more weight as well. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Serza says, Rosie, what's that in front of you? It is a BB. <laughs> <laughs> It is our BB. new BB that I believe the chat's called Robbie. Is so that the official name of the BB now, Robbie? I think so. I saw um, a few people saying call it Robsy. 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 So Robsy. Like, okay. Robsy or Robbie. Can you remember what I needed, Rosie? Uh, you needed chemicals and, and special alloys. That's the one. Chemicals. Was it 280 chemicals? No, 240 chemicals and 480 special alloys. I think that was something along those lines. Okay. Get everything. Got him. <laughs> so now, um, yeah, just get on my back. Fine. I'll carry that, no problem. I'll carry that. It's easy. Easy peasy. How about I show you um, floating carriers? Because they're really fun. Uh, Jamie Richardson asked, is Rob going for the platinum on this? Yes. I believe you said you are, I aren't am you? I am indeed. That's pretty much what I'm doing now. Oh, I think everyone's saying Robbie. Now, now the name, the votes are coming in. I think Robbie, right. Robbie B. <laughs> Ben's games, Robbie B. Robbie B. B. So here's my floating carrier, which I have now attached. And look, I'm, I'm toppling over because it's, if you make a sharp turn with lots of stuff on your back, yeah. you're more likely to topple over. So what you can do is, I go into my cargo menu and the big stuff that's on my back, so like the, the chemicals and the special alloys, I can load it onto the carrier. And now I can drag it along behind Oh, me. that's so satisfying. And you can, you can have up to two carriers attached as well. So you could attach another carrier to that carrier and basically have like a train of carriers being pulled along behind you. Yeah, I remember seeing that on the trailer footage when you've just had yeah. Sam walking in empty areas. I was going, oh, I saw Sword in the Storms asked, but this might kind of be a spoiler, but it should be. It depends how you answer. What's the game about? <laughs> I mean, uh, wow. what a question. That's what I mean. Like, how can you... S I mean, it's, about, it's about so many different things. I don't really think I can... Connecting America? Uh, I mean, on a very basic narrative level, it's about walking across America and connecting it together. Yeah, but there's like various different themes. Um, at play. It's about, it's about lots of things. I could get very pretentious in trying to explain what it's about. But I don't think that's the stream. Anyway, so we're here. So now I can go upgrade structure and we can give the structure the special alloys and the chemicals. And now this zip line will become level two, which will enable us to customize it and stuff. Oh, wait, can we, can we paint it? <laughs> I don't think we can. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, laughs> I don't know what I think we might be able to. When you say customize, I immediately think of decoration. You can, like, customize trucks and stuff, and I c you can paint trucks of various different colors. Nice. And vehicles. Um, so uh, there you go. It's upgrading now. Joshua Havel says, hello, Rob and Rosie from Vietnam. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello watching from Vietnam. Wow. Okay, so now the structure is level two. Um, and we can customize it now. <gasps> is that fragile? No, it's not fragile. So we can custom. We can put music on. 
all of the various different songs you'll probably hear as you go through the game. Yeah. You can have a voice on it. Here, the hologram. The holograms are what I like. So you can have just various bridges, guards, bit boring. Or you can have these are the people who operate the delivery terminals. Have you? I'm guessing you haven't met all of them. There's Jeff Keeley. There's Jeff Keeley. Have you got uh, Conrad as well? Um, he, do you mean Conan? Conan, that's yeah. the one. <laughs> <laughs> there he is in his otter hat. Oh my god, he's got an otter hat. Conan O'Brien. Um, yeah, you can tell I haven't really watched this stuff before. So okay, so I could have fragile rare hologram okay so what are these rare holograms do you unlock you, them yeah you unlock them as you sort of go through the um so we could do we could have aloy oh that's cool i think we'll put aloy on this on this zip line give it a good old thumbs up thanks aloy yeah so now if you if you come this way and you come to this zip line there's an Aloy. You will see, you get a little thumbs up from Aloy. Oh, that's brilliant. Please come. And like my Maybe, structure. Yeah. Let's see how much I need to upgrade to level three. I might even be able to go all the way to level three. <laughs> Dun -dun. Okay, I need 300 chiral crystals, 1,440 chemicals, and 1,440 special alloys. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, chiral crystals first. Yeah, I can do that now. Miyuko-san says, hello from Chicago. I don't have this game yet, so I'm grateful for the stream showing us what it's like. Oh, you're welcome. I really hope you enjoy it when you hopefully pick it I up. I hope so. I mean, this is... Uh, I mean, to say this is what the game is like is probably, you know, maybe doing it a disservice because I'm yeah. sort of like ziplining around an area that when you first get to it, you'll be walking through here and you will probably have to walk through mule territory to get here and it'll be interesting and difficult and slow and exciting yeah um whereas i'm sort of working on some trophy hunting at the moment and zip lining around everywhere <laughs> Whee! Is, uh, have you died or failed much during the 60 hours asks crooked vulture i have failed one delivery where it is a very fragile piece of cargo uh -huh. and whilst i was mucking about um i tried to spray it with container repair spray and so i put, it on, mucking I, about. I put it on the ground yeah to spray it not realizing i was on a really steep slope and mm -hmm. so as soon as I put it down, the cargo just sort of bounced and rolled all the way down the hill. I was like, no, <laughs> and, it, and it got destroyed. And that was like delivery failure because it was like a story critical piece of cargo. Oh, so I failed amazing. That. Um, there was one sort of story encounter as well that I, I died at. So currently I have died or failed. So a traditional game over twice so far. Okay, right. But I'm a very cautious player. So... If you go charging in, you, you may find that you die more times. What am I doing? I was getting the special alloys and the chemicals, wasn't I? I don't know if I have access to enough. No, I don't have access to enough, unfortunately, to upgrade that structure to level three. Which is a shame. Let's see if you've got any orders for me. Time for port of beer. So that wants to go to the engineer. I don't have a... Hmm. To the craftsman. Mitchell Sellen says, does upgrading a structure make it faster or more efficient or is it more cosmetic? Um, I think well, in terms of that one that I just had there, it makes it more, it's like a cosmetic sort of upgrade. So yeah, make it look it. cooler. Um, but when it gets to level three, and I think even at level two, the, the time fall resistance of structures increases. Um, so your structures will start to deteriorate if mm -hmm. you just leave them unmaintained. Um, the time fall, obviously, is, is rain that accelerates the aging of anything it touches. So even if it's touching metal structures, it will start to rust them. Yeah. Um, and if you leave it long enough without maintaining it, then they will eventually completely disintegrate and be destroyed. Um, so a level three structure is more resistant to time fall. Yeah. Um, and sort of maintaining them as long as you you keep on top of it and it's not something you have to constantly keep doing. And another cool thing is other players can maintain your stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So if someone sees my zip line online, they can maintain it as well for uh -huh. me. So you don't always have to be constantly, you know, coming back and, and doing stuff like that. Um, That'd be well, I, I didn't, wouldn't have even have thought of time fall affecting your structures over time. Yeah. Like to that extent. So what should we do now? I mean, I could... I've got to retrieve emergency transformer units stolen by mules. That sounds dangerous. 
I believe I saw a question earlier. I'm not sure where it's gone in the chat, Sally, but they asked, uh, what, who's your favourite character so far? Oh, God. Um, mm. oh, I, I think Fragile's a really cool character. Yeah? Fragile's a very cool character. We're not, I'm, I'm going <coughs> to... I'm going to not talk about story as much as I can, though. Mm. So, um, I Let's all just say, say BB. Oh, BB, obviously. Little yeah, BB. BB's great. Um, so, oh, but the mules are, are dangerous. Um, so we could do, I could try and do this delivery here, which is sneak mm -hmm. into mule territory and try and retrieve some stuff that they've stolen. Let's do that. Because um, then that could also show, because I've seen from trailers, there's also a bit of combat. Yeah. W would you be willing to? We can try. I'm not especially good at fighting mules, but I will try. So do you have to kind of like have a skill level to fight mules, would you say? Not or? really. It's more about sort of, okay, so I'm not going to bother going premium for this because I've got it on a hard mode and I don't want to get... Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't want to get my ass kicked by them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need to fabricate some equipment, though. I'm definitely going to need a bowler gun. Um, I might go non-lethal assault rifle. Level three. I might go for some stun bombs. I didn't even think there were this many weapons. I, I just haven't even considered the weapons in this game yet. Uh, Brandon Arnold also asks, what's your favorite piece of tech you can get? Zipline. <laughs> zipline. Zip I mean, obviously zipline. But there's loads of cool stuff in, in here. So let's... I really don't need the resins on my back right now. I love how it... it wobbles as well when you apply yeah. it on really gives it a sense of weight so. and balance right a good way to sneak around in mule territory is to not have cargo on you mm -hmm. so i'm going to place this in my private locker because what the, the mules detect is cargo they don't detect humans with their scanners okay um so if you don't have any cargo on you it enables you to far easier it enables you to sneak around much yeah. easier basically but it's still difficult like if they see you they ain't they're not having it Right, a floating carrier, that can go... Not. You need to travel light. When you're going into a mule area, travel light. That is... That is the advice. Okay. You've got a lot of blood bags skeleton. as well. Are they, like, for your health? Blood bags... They sort of think of them like rations from Metal Gear. So yeah. Like they'll have um, additional blood in. Um, so if your blood runs out, it can be um, replenished. I might put the all-terrain skeleton in the private locker and go for a speed skeleton, which will hopefully enable me, once I get the stuff I need from these mules, to get the hell out of there really quickly. Yeah. So let's fabricate that quickly. <coughs> um. No, what am I doing? Fabricate equipment. Speed skeleton. Yes, please. Nice. And I'm going to instantly just equip it. Adash so. says, uh, shout out to Indian fans. Hello, everyone from India. Hello, everyone watching from India. That's amazing. Watch how quickly I can run with the speed skeleton. Whoa. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, I just want to jump around all over the place. <laughs> Oh, that is so nice. Nice little skid. We are going into mules territory now. Okay. So we need to be a non-lethal assault rifle. I've not tried this one out yet. So we're in mule Whoa. territory. We are in mule territory. There's a mule literally, I think, right there. So tall grass is your friend when you get into mule territory. Also watchtowers like i'd love to be able to find a watchtower i saw the uh, d3 mystic asks is there a better way to play this game as in do you pri prioritize one game mechanic over the other like going stealth or as he calls it um, leroy jenkins like well it sort of depends what situation you're in like right now Stealth is definitely the best approach when you're trying to nick stuff from... Oh, God, they're definitely going to see me. I need some tall grass. Where the hell is all the tall grass? Is that... There's some. Oh, okay. Oh, I was no. going to say... what? There's, what a mule, there's a mule right there. Okay, they're trying to ping me already. Oh, they're definitely going to see me. They're definitely going to see me, Rosie. Oh. 
I saw everything go orange. Does that mean you're in that's, like... That's... That's them doing a scan. So if I had cargo on my back right now, I don't think weapons count as cargo, but if I had cargo on my back right now, it would be pinging now. Mm -hmm. And they would know exactly where the cargo is, at least. So they would be coming hunting for me. <sighs> I really could do with just... Finding some long grass. See... There's some people have been weeing there. Yeah, oh my god, I did my first Death Stranding wee <laughs> last night, and it was great, so I danced around the mushroom for a bit. <laughs> I was, as soon as I had the mechanic, and I did it, I was like, woohoo, I made a mushroom. Oh god, they're everywhere. there's mules everywhere. <gasps> oh, those ones are riding around in, um... Is this long grass? I don't think it is. No. No, it doesn't. It's not long enough. I'm definitely going to get seen. Oh, I There's can nowhere hear to hide. Heart. There's nowhere to hide. It's that truck. That's oh, is it patrolling? Yeah. Oh no, it's definitely going to see me, Rosie. I'm in trouble. Oh god. Oh. Why oh, are you coming here? Oh, oh, they're toying. It's fine. I've not used a non-lethal. I might just equip my bowler gun, which is a gun that fires out um, rope strands. Uh huh. Um, and this and that enables you to basically bind them non-lethally. I was going to say, do you go for a non-lethal approach? It's definitely worth doing non-lethal because I don't know how far you are into the game, Rosie, but you probably know that dead people is bad. It is bad. It is very bad. So what is yeah, I of need course. Yeah, get? I didn't. Wouldn't have even thought of it that way. Cargo. Um, orders. Emergency transformer units. I don't even know where are they in that. I think. Are they in there? Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> They're in that post box. I've got to get to that post box somehow. Right in mule territory. <sighs> it might just be. <laughs> run in and maybe it's time to fight. Maybe it's time to just go in and uh, just hack them all down. What, like your first time doing it or... Can you I go mean, behind those boxes? But it's just that I truck that. I'm going to do this stealthily, really, because they're flipping everywhere. Well, I'm going to go for this long grass first. That truck is, is the thing that's worrying me. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one mule up here. Hopefully, just with a regular strand, I should be able to take him down. If you take one down, do they, like, alert others? If they see it happening, then yes. Oh, it's just not... Ah, oh, that wasn't good. Didn't go well. So go I'm just going to smash him with it. Okay, and now they're all going to be on me. So it's time to get the bowler gun out. Oh man, this is science. Give me the things you stole. Because I've got more coming there. Another guy over there. Where has that post box gone that I need to get to? Oh god, is that the alarms? Yeah. Ah, oh, they just know where I am now. Cool. Freddie Robertson says, Hello from Kentucky. I love the channel. Thank you very much, Freddie. And also, hello. Oh. I didn't turn the difficulty off hard either, so... It's going to make this... Oh, they're actually firing bullets at me now. They're firing actual guns. Cool. It's fine. You're not giving them a taste of their own medicine. Yes, I need to find... I've lost completely where that... Is that where it is? It's in there, right? That's where I need to get to anyway. Speedy legs. Speedy legs. Run, 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 Sam. Do you ever do the, like, pre-planning route thing on the map? Like, you know... Oh, oh. Whoa! He sticky-gunned me. That is very cool, but annoying! <laughs> sticky gun stuff right off my back. I think it was my floating carrier. <gasps> Ooh. All 
answer, are they? Uh, oh, it's a question I can answer. Alexander Pe uh, Peterson says, Rosie, how many hours have you put into Death Stranding? I have put around three hours, I think, into the game so far. Three or four. Um, that's purely because I've been getting home, having to do adulting things, and then I play it, <laughs> play it for a little bit before bed. So, so I haven't had a lot of time, but hopefully this weekend that will be fixed. So I'm going to steal the stuff that I need to steal. And hopefully get away with it. Got it. Let's get out of there. Run, 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 run. I'm going for the zip line. Nice. I'm going for my zip line. I think I've managed to get away from them with a combination of just speed and firing the bowler gun. But they have nicked something off me. Oh, what's gone on? What's gone on? No, not run out now, Sam. Not now. Not oh, now. No, not now. Not now. Oh, get, no. up, get up. You're get like up. Right get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Literally now, you absolute idiot. Okay, I think you're fine. I think you're fine. Drink, drink that and stop moaning about it. God. You've got electric legs on. Crying out loud. What was it they nicked off me? I thought you didn't have any cargo on you. I think they might. They sticky gunned, I think, my floating carrier off my back, maybe. Or was no, I'm pretty sure I put that away. Did they maybe steal... They swiped something. They sucked it right off my back. A blood bag? No, because that's all in like utility oh, okay. patches. Anyway. That was a very poor demonstration of the stealth in the game. It was exciting. You saw a bit of combat as well. Oof. There you go, sorted. And there's a nice little alloy as well for the trip. There you go. Here's fixed. your stuff you wanted. I got it. I got it. I'm trying to filter through some of the questions we've got at the moment. We've got quite a few coming in. Uh... I saw someone else, got, else ask what it is I have in my hand. I should probably clarify as well that you can get the BBs in the, in like the special edition. It's sold. You can't get it now. It's sold out. Oh, yeah. is it completely it's sold gone. out? Yeah. It's gone now. Well, the, it was part of the special box version, like very the special. Special edition, yeah. Special edition mm -hmm. version of Death Stranding. Or was it the collector's edition? I think it was the collector's edition. Delivering cargo. There you go. Your stuff that was stolen by the mules. There you go, they like that. I don't care about what you have to say. I'm skipping all your dialogue. <laughs> You're on a mission now. B? What are you talking about? Was it? What happened? B? Minimum cargo weight 22 kilograms and I deliver you 66 kilograms of it with no damage and you're giving me a B. <laughs> wow. Was it because they were like you didn't travel far enough for it? Well, if you don't travel far, that's like a positive yeah. in your ranking. Oh, Mozzie asks, is there day and night in the game? <coughs> no. Is it purely always yes. like... It is just the day. Nice. Did they steal my sticky gun? I've I've got a full bladder, Rosie. You, you're going to have to release yourself, Rob. Come on, let's make a mushroom. <laughs> it's going to be a big mushroom as well. What I'm going to do is go right up. I'm going to wee in the mule's territory. <laughs> Take that, mules. Oh, no, we've got all the B puns coming in. B for bad stealth. We've got an oof. So my battery's been charged. Hey, mules. There's a time for shelter. Am I in their territory? About to be. I must be now. Yeah. Go on. Nice, take that mules. How do you like that? Almost a litre of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long one. Let's all just take a breather. <sighs> I like how you can aim with it as well, like when you move. 
Like, wee. Seriously, when I saw that I could finally do the legendary urinating in this game, I was very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Carl says, quote of the stream, I have a full bladder, Rosie. <laughs> oh, someone's just said it's not a full bladder until you go over a thousand milliliters. Does he, I don't, I've not actually tried that. Maybe Sam, maybe Sam like hops about. Yeah, maybe, like, maybe, knows? yeah. He can't contain it anymore. I mean, that's definitely something that Hideo Kojima would, would do in the game, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There is a lot of like different ways you can move in this game when you're walking, so. Oh, I needed that. I needed. Much better. Look at that, that. mushroom. I wonder, I've, I've not killed anyone in the game yet, Rosie. Hmm. Are you thinking... I'm just wondering what happens when you do kill someone. I'm guessing would BTs kind of be made aware? Who knows? Are you willing to try should we, it? Should we find out? Do you get a trophy for it? I don't think so. Ceramics, who's lost that? This is your game, Rob, so if, if, you're, if you want to give it I'm a shot... I'm going to have to go and fabricate a lethal assault rifle first. And I don't think it's a good idea to be killing people. <coughs> <laughs> Any more questions about the game in the stream? I mean, would you like me? I can I can show you the extent of my zipline network if you like. I can show you how far it extends. It goes all the way into the mountains. Nice. So we can we can do that as well later. But I'd like to kill a mule. I think now. I like I it hope as it doesn't well. Doesn't go wrong. We had a really comment wrong. from. I'm trying to. I can't find it sadly at the moment. Oh, here we go. From Roscoe Rimoto, who says a stream during a stream. Very good. <laughs> Thanks for watching the stream, says PlayStation Access. <laughs> yeah. Good pun. Um, hmm. There was a question earlier. Someone asked, can you permanently remove the mule bases? Or not remove it, but you know, like... You mean like conquer them? Yeah. I, n I don't think so. I do not think so. Not that I am aware of, no. Mm. Um, but I'm about to go in and kill some of them. So we'll see. We will see. I'm just going to recycle that. Um... Also, maybe I'll recycle my bowler gun. That's uh, not my bowler gun, my non-lethal gun. And I'm going to get a lethal gun now. Just to warn you, everyone says that you have to burn the corpses. So I don't know if that means you... Well! <laughs> I don't know if you have anything that can burn corpses, like, on the go. <laughs> Thank you! Yay! You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I know it's likely to cause avo everyone's saying a void out, but I've not seen what that looks like. I'm going to save it before it happens. Yeah, that's a good shout. I just want to see what happens. I just, I've not seen it happen yet. I just want to see it. Zip line. Serendip thinks we've seen some zip line action. You haven't seen some zip line action, Serendip. I'm going to show you some zip line action <laughs> all the way from here into the mountains. It will blow your mind. It's so good. You've, is it because you stayed up until 2 a.m. building this zip wire? No. <laughs> no, not no. at all. No. Right. Lethal assault rifle. Level three. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Let's get on there. Let's go and kill someone. Frank, uh, for, for, sorry, I'm trying to pronounce your surname. For Dlurham, man. I'm really <laughs> sorry. For Dlurham. Faik Faldurahman. Y you I think that's what I'm going with. Very simple question. I'm very sorry if I've said your name wrong, but it just says, what do you think about this game? <laughs> A very simple <laughs> question. I th I but it hasn't been asked yet. What do we think about it? Personally, I absolutely love it. And it's um, it, like it, it took a while to get there as well. Like there were one of the first stages of the game. I started out loving it. And then I was like, oh, this is strange because it's like nothing you've ever played before. And then it, you sort of, it lulls you in and... You get. Su I've been sucked into it to a point where I just, I just have to play it now yeah. all the time. I think it's absolutely amazing, and I love it. But I, I, you know, I'm fully aware that it's not everybody's cup of tea as well. Like mm. it's. I mean, even Hideo Kojima in our interview said he expected the the reaction to be mixed, and it has been mixed, and like it's, that's very understandable. But it is. It's not for everyone, but it is absolutely for me. Yeah. For sure. Like walking around in beautiful scenery while it rains and sad music is playing is like my absolute it's heaven that is heaven for me yeah. and also you put in an amazingly cool sci-fi story really good actors like like this lovely snapshots of tents 
um, stealth action. Then you've got the BTs as well, which are terrifying when you have to sneak through an area with BTs in. Yeah. And then you get this this whole kind of structural connection thing where I'm, at the moment, I'm building zip wires and building roads and, like, physically connecting the world as yeah. well as connecting it to this network. And it's just such a satisfying loop of, oh, it's yeah. so of, oh. <laughs> It's great. And I've not even finished the story yet. Um, so I'm looking, what am I even doing? I've forgotten what I'm even You're gonna doing. You're going to do the zip wire in the I mountains. I'm going to save it first. That's it. And then I'm going to go and kill a mule and see what happens. There's been a lot of people uh, generally asking as well, are there any Easter eggs that Easter you've come eggs. across? Um, apart, I mean, apart, from from, apart from the Horizon um, <coughs> holograms that you can put. If people are, I don't know what, do you mean like, man, I can't go over how far he jumps with the speedy legs. He's like, no. Why have I come in here? Why have I come in here? Silly. You're just overwhelmed. Uh, Damien Walker asks, how was your first BT encounter? Um, it was terrifying. I, maybe I should, we should um, talk about the first time I was actually caught by BTs. I don't know if anyone's been fully caught by them yet, but it goes in different stages. Like if, if you accidentally run into one, they start grabbing onto you. You can, you can shake them off and try and escape like the pool of tar that starts okay. acclimatizing. But if you fail to do that and get dragged down... Um, then the game goes absolutely nuts. Like I don't, I don't really want to be spoiling what happens for people who haven't experienced it yet. But there's like I, mean, I haven't experienced it yet, but it's it's terrifying. But I recommend sort of letting it happen at mm. least once through through your playthrough, just so you can experience like the incredible spectacle, the incredible technological spectacle that is the M. Um, I'm I wasn't happy about that, how that went last time. So I think what I'm going to f do first is try and redeem so I'm going myself. To kill all of them. <laughs> in terms of stealth, I want to stealthily take this guy out with a strand. Oh, interesting. Come over, here. Come over here, you. Don't yawn. <laughs> Don't yawn. You're not allowed to yawn. Where are your friends? <laughs> I love it. There's a there's a channel called Gaming Mule who says. Please don't kill any mules. We just want to be your friend. <laughs> I'm very sorry you shared the same name as the enemy in this game. The enemy. I love the footprints as well. Look at that. And now I need to walk quieter. Because that's what got me spotted last time, I think, was mm. making too much noise. It's tense, though, when they're like, they could turn around at any, any point. Oh. Oof, some of that. Right, so that's better stealth. And what that's have you got for me to steal? So now... Um, so he's knocked out, I'm guessing. He's not dead. Because yes. mm -hmm. he has that orange wavy line. Yeah, he is knocked out. I mean, that was a non-lethal non take down there. With a strand. Which is what I was trying to do before, but failed. Maybe I'll go up to this post box. Over. Oh, there's another mule over there. Hello. He's got some cargo. Are there two over there, or is that just one? Is that just like two, it's two bits of cargo? Yeah, he's got two bits of cargo. Where's the truck? I can hear it. What's going on? Have they... Have they spotted the knocked out person? No, there's no one near him, is there? What's going on? Was it just their, like, operation? Oh... Oh no, they have, they have, they have spotted the knocked out person. They're getting out the truck and they've spotted the knocked out person. Because you can steal their truck as well, can't you? Shh, yes, right. Oh, okay, so. So that was, that was my plan. I'm going to pretend that was my plan all along. I'm going to cuddle BB. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for getting out your truck. <laughs> da -da -na 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 -na. Oh, Yes. Oh man! Yes! Look at all their blood dun, splattering dun, dun, on the dun, screen. Dun. Oh, there's another truck. <laughs> it's gonna ram me. Oh. You chickened out. Oh, he's Ooh. flipping Eki. Did a good shot there. Okay, okay. Now it's lethal assault rifle time. Here we go. Now it's What's got personal. Oh, that's oof. 
I love how you can tell this is the first time because like the game's like, Sam, you've just killed someone. This is how you deal with it, so you can tell you've never killed anyone. Oh. oh. Right, there we go. Boof! How is the combat? Because it looks quite tough with all the weight that you're carrying. It's definitely advised that you don't... And I'm playing this on hard mode at the moment, so it's, uh, it's quite challenging. <laughs> Oliver Barb said, Leroy! And I'll just finish it off with, Jenkins! <laughs> You shouldn't have come this way. <laughs> the full metal mech says, true joy on Rob's face. Hello. Goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, they're all dead. They're dead. They're all dead. Okay. They're gone, sire. Hey, there's my sticky gun. <gasps> you were the guy who stole my sticky gun. Yes, yeah, so you, you stole. Take it back. Got it back now. Ha! And Wait, you didn't pick up your sticky gun, did you? It was still on the floor. No, I got it. Did you? No, I didn't. You're right, Rosie. <laughs> you took my sticky gun. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> That'll show you. I'll take this thing that okay. you had. What's happening here? Okay, so these are the dead bodies. Yes, yeah, so you apparently got to burn them. Oh, and they got little ghost symbols. Wow. What's, what's going to happen? Are they going to go void out? Are they going to explode? Well, yeah, I think so. You, I wasn't listening to what the guy told me. No, I think he was just saying you've got to incinerate them. Okay, that's cool. How? Um, I, I missed have, that part. I don't have any fire. Can you carry it over? Can you pick up the body? Um, someone's asked if you can fabricate duplicate vehicles later in the game. Yes, you can. You can you can use your materials that you have available to make your own vehicles. And you can store them in a garage and repair them in your private room. You can ride the elevator down to your private room with the garage in it. I'm really... I want to see, see what happens. When... Are you just going to leave When them? whatever happens to these things happens. Can we pick... Can you see if you could pick them up? And then even if you put them in like a non-grassy area? Place in body bag. Okay. I doubt I'm going to be able to carry loads. <laughs> How many body bags can we carry? So now, swap the cargo for the body bag. Huh. I mean... Oh, what are you going to do? This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ideally load them into a vehicle. Is what can I you need take one do. of their vehicles? Yes. Yes. There's another. They're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> They're dead, Jim. They're all dead. I'll take your vehicle here. Let's go. Let's dispose of these fools. <laughs> Levy Mia says, pee on the bodies plus one. Oh, yes. That'll be full on. <laughs> yes, I think so. I think that is a great idea. That should stop them going void out, shouldn't it? I don't know. I've only got eight mil in the tank. Hang on. Didn't like that. Nice. Monster energy drink consumed. Keep drinking, Sam. <sighs> oh, Simon Ross asked, he said, what other game or games can you closest compare this to? Honestly, I just don't. I just don't think. I mean, it's not to sound like, you know, a hyperbole or cliche. I just don't think you can compare this to anything else. Mm. It, it's so unlike anything I've ever played. Why can't. Is it just not going to let me do it on the bodies? What's it you're trying to do? We! <laughs> <laughs> I want to do we on them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <God. laughs> right. Just, just how determined you were. What are you trying to do? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can I load it in the vehicle? Where have they gone? Oh Where did God. they... Yeah, they're in the truck, look. They're in That's the truck. That's cool. This is so cool. <laughs> Sorry. Right. There's a whole part of the game I've not discovered yet because I've not killed anyone yet. And I've got a bunch of dead bodies in the back of my truck that I have to get to an incinerator pronto because otherwise they're going to void out and there's going to be BTs everywhere. For those who don't know, what is a void out? A void out is what happens. I mean, that's technically story stuff. Um, 
but it's in all the trailers and stuff, and it's like a very basic thing premise of the story is when when a dead person sort of comes into contact or when a live person comes into contact with something from the world of the dead like a bt yeah the bt they're like an antimatter meeting matter and it creates like an you know like an antimatter explosion that's called yeah. a void out so basically a very big explosion a um, very big explosion yes cargo body bag get in the no 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 cancel get in the vehicle I don't know if I can take many more. You must. Have, there, there looks like there's a, another seat. Any more dead people like to come in my my dead truck? Truck of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they all? Yeah, it looks like you can fit three more. There's someone in the yellow there. In the in the yellow in the grass. Hi. I'm sorry about what happened to you. Not sorry, really. You're going in my body bag. It's gonna, it's gonna blow up, isn't it? There's no, no, not don't open the cargo menu. No, come. Oh my god. Place in body bag, please. This is so cool, though, right? This is this so is cool. So cool. Love, Alex and Foxy says, "Can you take a selfie with them?" That's what. Is there a photo mode in this? No. No Which selfies. Is a shame. Then, sadly, it's a shame. Maybe it's something they can add post launch. So you got, you got room for two more of your, on your dead party train. Or not dead train. Dead party bus. Dead party bus. Pink Taxi 2.0 says PlayStation bus. Access. Right. Any any other dead... There's a knocked out one there. Bring out your dead. I could just, you know, make sure he's knocked out. There. <laughs> oh, there's two more dead here. <coughs> wow, I killed a lot of them, Rosie. Yeah, you really went all out, didn't you? You didn't even realise the murder you caused. I've been very comfortable cuddling, cuddling BB. This How moment. is BB doing? He's doing, he's doing good. He's happy, I think. <gasps> Throw them in the river and let them go down the waterfall. What an amazing idea! <laughs> oh I would love to do that. Oh, you guys have the best ideas. Do you think we could try and do that? Oh, it would be fun, wouldn't it? I mean, I think they're going to explode before I get them to the incinerator, aren't they? That could be like if we ever do like a challenge run of this get game. Them to the incinerator is not even on, on this part of the map, like. How am I supposed to burn them? I've got nowhere to that's burn them. That's the risk you take when you kill them, Rob. Can I load them from here? Uh, not close enough. Right, so they're body bagged up. Can you take them on the zip line? Can you, like, attach them and then they go, like... You can do one at a time, I'd imagine. Whatever's on your back, you can take on a zip line. Mm -hmm. um, but you can only load one body at a time on your back. No, I don't want you to punch. Is your car, like, right o on, really on top? Oh, there we go. Get nice. In. And then we've got room for one more. I think your truck's, like, right over someone. Or is it? What is that? What? The skeleton on the... Oh, the that's just a, a sign. That's a player sign. That means mules. So basically, oh. it means mule territory here. Warning. I know it's mule territory. I've got six dead mules in my truck. My truck of fun. <laughs> truck of fun. Let's go, boys. Boys. We're going on a road trip. <laughs> tar Lake. Someone said Tar Lake. Let's take them to the Tar Lake and dispose of them in there. Do you think they, like, sink? This is going to be fun because, um, obviously, I've got to get to the Tar Lake, which is there, um, without using my zip lines. So I've somehow got to drive this route. How am I going to get them over there? This is going to take the rest of Ooh. the stream, pretty much. Craig D Gandalf says, can you blow up the truck to incinerate them? I mean, it's a fire. And it goes... <laughs> I mean, that might... I don't think that would work. Would that work? If it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to make another truck. That's the thing, yeah. Like, is it worth the risk? So what, you've been asked to drop them down a waterfall, blow up a truck, I mean, throwing, put them in tar. I mean, throwing them in the tar lake would definitely... Look how ordered they are. Is that all of them? <laughs> right, gentlemen. Is this all of you? Is are you that comfortable? all of you? There's, there's one that's knocked out. I feel like he's missing out, the one that's knocked out. Oh, bless, he's going to wake up and then just see everyone's gone. All of his gone. friends will be gone. Like, he doesn't even know what's happened. They're just gone. Oh, look at him. I feel so bad. 
I but feel I don't th- so bad, Rosie. But I don't think you can fit him on your truck. <sighs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. What am I going to I thought you were going to urinate on him. I feel, I feel so, so bad. bad. I then just so urinate bad. on him. Uh, oh, you did it. The uh, poor man. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. You can come with me now. I'll take you to your friends. <laughs> He's just turned sinister, hasn't he, this week? <laughs> oh, no. But I just love it so much. Oh, what a game. <laughs> Go. Can he fit? The truck bed is full. The corpse. Oh God! Hang on. Can you carry him on your back and on then my drive? Back. Yeah. But I can't. Oh. Fine. So you're going to be driving your car with a dead body on your back? I think so. Surely I just but put him in the Sam passenger is, seat. He's very tired. He's very tired. He's probably and emotionally strained. I'm sorry, Sam. I've not... Look, his stamina's like shot to hell. I've not rested in my private room for ages, but we don't have time for that because we've got to avoid... Yeah, he's in the passenger seat, look. Oh, look at... (laughs) (laughs) Right then, lads. Off we go. (laughs) Bye-bye, bowler gun and sticky gun. I'm really sad that I've got to leave you. Have I really got to leave them behind? Because he's in the passenger seat. (laughs) He's in the passenger seat. Oh, no. He's straight on you there. Hang on. Can you put him on your arms? Cargo menu. Sticky gun. Hang on, tool rack. Uh, yes, I can put that on my tool rack. Drew Sticky Taylor gun. says, have you tried doing parkour yet? It's great fun. I didn't even know. I wouldn't have even thought of doing parkour in a game like this. I, and there's not like, you know, an action. Do you feel really bad though, Rob? No, I don't. <laughs> no. No! Right. Off to the tar pit then, I guess. <laughs> Look at your truck with dead bodies. Um, How am I going to get there? So there's the tar pit. Oh, it's this river. It's getting across this river in this truck that's going to be a pain. Mm. And there's probably going to be BTs on the way as well. I don't know what to do. This really is the Pink Taxi 2.0. Um, uh, zip lines are no good when you've got a massive truck. There's a there's a bridge there. So we could go for the bridge and hope that I can actually... So where am I? So if we head for that bridge, yes. hopefully that'll get me across there and then I could just hopefully some, find some way to drive through this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That's my just plan. roll it up. Yeah, let's do it. PlayStation Access says, well, this stream went full, Rob. That's right, it did. I just wanted to find out what happened when you killed someone. And you didn't get a trophy for it in the end, so now we know you don't get a trophy for murder. No. I don't think the game is supposed to reward murder. Also, my truck, if I go through any areas that have even remotely bad time fall, my truck is already rusty as heck. That is a one rusty truck. It is, isn't it? We wanted to see the zip lines, didn't we? As well. What time is it? How is it already quarter to five? I know, time flies by when you're playing. Are you serious? You could say that time has had time fall rain on it. I, <laughs> I did a punt for I the wanted game. To do, I wanted to show everyone the zip lines going all the way into the mountains. Maybe I'll do that now and then I'll just dispose of these later. But they're going to turn into PTs. They're fine for now. Your poor party bus. Da, 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 Let's da, go, da, da, lads. Da, Come da. on. Tracks, but battery's running out. Oh my god. Oh my god. You wouldn't have even been able to make it up the hill. Put them in the river and then just see where they end up. In the river. Oh, sorry. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. They've seen your. The battery's run out. You gotta leg it. Sorry, lads. Can't play with you. Gotta go. Run, run. Apart from the one that you've got. Run. They're like, oh, what's on this truck? I bet it's cargo. And then they just see a truck of dead bodies. That went badly, didn't it? That went very badly indeed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing you got those super speedy legs. Yeah, very good. And now the rain's coming. Oh, there's another one knocked out there. <laughs> Fred Bag said he didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> No, well, there was no plan. There was no plan. I just wanted to find out. I just wanted to see what happened when you killed someone. You could still blow the truck up. I Friendly could. reminder from Mozzie, just blow the truck up. Can you do that? I don't know. Well, that actually I mean, worked. Rad Dude says it as well, and he says blow up the truck, and his name is Rad Dude. 
Okay, where are these mules gone? Have I got... Have I got an assault... I've not even got a lethal assault rifle to blow it up. Grenades. None of them are actually going to blow it up. That's a smoke grenade. That's no good to me. Sticky gun's no good to me. What if I just... Oh. That's it. The body's down. Right. We need to get to the time for farm first. Oh, oh gosh. stop. Sam. He's panicking. He's, he's, he's going all over the place. I need to rest as well. Desperately need to rest. Here's a generator. That's what I could have done with. For the battery. You're so close. Oh, a bike. That looks so cool. Corpse detected. Everything bad detected. Altheron asks, how long does it take for a dead body to burn into a BT? I don't know. We'll find out. I've never <laughs> done this before. We're all in this together now today. This El Elvis press play says, there's probably a trophy for no murder. We'll find out at the end of the game. Here's another truck. Look. Mm, the thing is, you left your last truck, though, right in some enemy territory. I did. I did that. It could be their problem now. They can deal um, with it. Hmm. So. <sighs> thing is, I can't really carry any of this stuff. Assault rifle. Or should I just go with grenades? Mm. I mean, do you have a grenade that will actually blow it up rather than just be like, hey, oh, yes, you do. Oh, I've, got, I've got many grenades. Yeah, that'll all do the trick. Surely. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? I mean, the truck was rusty, so it was in bad shape anyway. And then you could do it from a distance. Right. <clears throat> okay. So. I'm going to take this truck. Brad Evans said, it's just going to blow up and everyone's going to be jumping out of their skin. Sorry, sorry, enemy base that wasn't expecting a truck of dead bodies. <laughs> it's going to blow up now. Someone said recycle the body. Let's see if you can do that. I'm excited now. Because at least that gets rid of this one who's yeah. on us. Can you recycle bodies? No. No, you can't. Well, off to the burning session it is. Who's ready for a firework <laughs> display? <laughs> oh, people are saying keep one just to experience the void out. The sad thing, we don't know how long a void out is going to take. Right, how long is it going to take? Because, Ali, if it takes an hour... <laughs> yeah, we don't have an hour. We don't, Sally, we don't have an hour. Um, you on the vehicle, so you're off my back. Get off my back. Get off my oh. back, man. Hang on. What's it doing? Does it not like the dead body? <coughs> no, it's just bleep bleep. Can you manually save in the game? Yes, you can. I think I did that earlier in the stream. In fact. Yeah, you did save, didn't you? Oh, there's a flipping majigger there, generator. Some cargo just been left lying about. So where's me old truck with all the old dead bodies in it then? It was somewhere near the bridge, I think, to the right. Should be on the map. There it is. <laughs> look, look, there it is, all those body bags. Yeah. Yeah, it's just straight ahead, pretty much. Is that it in the distance? In the far distance, is that the truck? Like, by the rock? Uh, apparently, void out takes 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Well, it's going to happen any second then. It's going to happen any minute. 
Oh man, this is exciting. You're going to get to a truck and it's just the void out. It's just happening. Roscoe Remotos asks, can you have sniper rifles? Uh, if you can, I have not, I have not got them yet. Oh. Okay, so we have got enemies. Animals. Animals. Full of animals. Listen to the rain. It's so pretty. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's so good. Hello, Trussos. You can scan me all you like. I've got no cargo on me. No cargo means no troubles. Vrakan <laughs> <laughs> Pearl is nice and cool. <laughs> I only wish to blow up the bodies. I love the like the slow heartbeat you can hear when you're in the mule territory yeah. as well, just like rhythmically in the background. What? What's all that down there? That's all the stuff that's fallen off the people I've killed. So don't need to worry about that. I need to worry about the mules that are this way. Mm, there they all are. Joey Boy says, yes, Rob, you absolute unit. <laughs> Thank unit? You. Yeah. <clears throat> I just really liked how it was said by Joey Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Joey boy, my boy. <laughs> Joey boy, your boy. Rob, you are an absolute unit. Uh, that's that's where they are. They're inside. This is a cool strategy, right? If okay. you ever want to steal something from a mule camp, do it in the rain because they go inside. Look, oh, they're all inside. Brilliant. I'm guessing they don't have your rain protected gear. That well, they got. do, but like rain also occasionally means BTS. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. What I think is going to happen is the truck's going to be destroyed, but and all the bodies are just going to be are just going to fall on the floor. That's my prediction. That your prediction, right? Let's let's see. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. This is when you miss. Hang on. Can you get it right under it? Let's get it right on the floor. Yes. I have a grenade. Look at that. Beautiful. Is that is that done it enough? Might need a bit more. Come on, blow up. Yes. Oh my god, the bodies. I told you, Rosie. I told but you what would happen. But the thing's on fire, but it's on fire. Will the fire spread? He wants to rest now. <laughs> Man, what a tiring day. Now is not the time, Sam. Cool. Well, now... Well, now it's... Yeah, now it's... I just have them all to deal with again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, look at all those dead bodies. Happily on the floor, not burning. Oh, no. This is bad. I mean, it's very bad, isn't it? One, are they all here? One, two, three. Are we all here, lads? Four, five, six. Yeah, yeah they're all, all there. Okay, so what I need to do now is get back to my truck that does have battery in it. Pick them up. And pick them all up again. Before the void out happens. And try and somehow get them to the tar lake. I've got to drive the truck in here without those mules in that tent. Putting them seeing up. Seeing me. <sighs> cool. Mistress Kazumi says, first row seat for the void spectacular. I mean, how long does it, ha how long does it take? Does anyone know how long it takes? We've had 20 minutes. Some people have said it takes 20 minutes. I feel so sorry. Everyone said, you can blow up the truck. Blow up the truck, they said. It would maybe dispose it, of them, Maybe if it said. wasn't raining and there was like more grass around. Maybe. And all you wanted to do was zip line up a mountain. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look at where we've got to now. Hurry up, void out. Just happen. Like, does it give you a, like a, a countdown? Mm, don't... It'll probably do it by, like, surprise, I would have thought. Or just BTs would just come to your area. Everyone's saying we on them. <laughs> I can't. I don't have any we. <laughs> I don't need a we. Actually, I'd need a little we. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Let's try that. We'll try that. I don't need a we. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when, when I'm leaving anywhere with my daughter. It's like, go to the toilet before we go. 
because it's a long drive. I was going to say, I could send I some of your daughter. Need a wee, <laughs> Daddy. I don't need to go. Do it. No. On the corpses. On the <laughs> Trust me, you'll need, you'll be grateful for it. I've done an old stream in my coat. It must be really random for anyone. I'm in my coat because it looked a bit like we're Death. doing, we were trying to do a bit of Sam Porter Bridges cause. And they're going to sense. The they're going to sense the corpse. Everything. They're going to sense the corpse in here now. I think. No. Don't worry about me. I'm just picking up what I dropped off. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Hopefully, that's close enough to be able to just put them all in straight away. Right. So. Oh. All those bodies, it's just gonna be, oh man. I see, we're, they, we're getting them on the truck, but what are we gonna do once they're on the truck? Are we gonna. We're going to the tar pit, that's where we're going. Okay, we're gonna go to the tar pit. I don't know if we've got enough time. But that's what I'm going to attempt. Hugh NG Solo says, I just want to say that the video review you did for this game was amazing. Thank you, you very much. You could sell me a car with no engine with how good you talked about this game. <laughs> so much props to you. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. But I do genuinely feel like in some, if, it's, if you're into this kind of thing, like scary, weird sci-fi stuff that looks really beautiful and is a bit sad and bleak, then the game just sells itself, really. Yeah. Right, so... You and your boy in the front seat. Sitting right, in the front seat, dead bodies in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie the poet. Me the <laughs> right, so let's get back to that bridge that's there. It's that was where Thursday, we were trying to get before. Thursday. And the rain has really helped us here. Rosie, yeah. shake the BB. <laughs> <laughs> that it's was a, a request that from Octocamo. Poor BB. I just like cuddling it. It's a very good sh cuddle shape. Did we see? Did anyone in the comments come back with a definitive answer on how long it takes for these dead bodies to go void out? I didn't see. Oh, well, now I'm worried because constructive says there are no void outs. What? Which is why I'm like, there must be a void out because... That's the whole point. We were told Die Hard Man was on the radio as soon as I killed my first person saying... I mean, I didn't listen to what he, he said. He said you got to burn them. Yeah, you got to burn them. Someone, someone, Google it. <laughs> you have access to the for the internet. Oh no! The actually the truck's batteries. Ah, oh, that's poor driving. No, 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 no. Oh. Whoa! What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Bad driving is what's going on. Come on, up the really. This is like where my sat nav usually likes to take me. Seriously, up there. Domino oh, so we're says, at the waterfall. We're at the waterfall. Domino says, void outs can only be caused by a dead Sam, Sam I believe. A dead what? A be a, by a, I said that really badly. Void outs can only be caused by a Sam death, I believe. By Sam's death? Yeah, did I call him a dead Sam? <laughs> so why has everyone been saying a void out's going to happen? A void out's going to happen? A void out's going to happen? If it's not... Well, let's just take them to the tar pit. Let's do that. I mean, we're probably not going to get... I don't know how to get there by car. I know how to get there on foot. Can you drive the car and then jump out? And then the car will just go... Into the tar pit. I mean, it's um, it's just get, it's getting to the tar pit. Because you have to go over, like, a ridge. And there's, there's usually BTs in that area as well. Where am I? Here's the, that's the bridge I wanted. I wanted to get across there and then hopefully be able to somehow drive down. Whew. Right, so let's paint a route from here to the bridge. Okay, Charlie Robinson looked it up. He said, I've looked it up and I can only see that Sam and certain BT contact will cause a void out. Okay, so... So no void what's out. What's the deal with these mules then? Tar pit won't work. For what? It won't work for what? We'll pop in the tar pit and then they're done. <laughs> yeah, 
I tell you what. No one seems to have a consensus, and I'm just going to be driving aimlessly to this tar pit, and we're already in overtime. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave this here. You can... And this body. <laughs> this is like a rage quit, but just There's like just a... Lots of misinformation in the chat today. God. Get off. I love it. The, the, the point of the stream was that we'd answer your questions, and yeah. now it's like, the information you're giving us. How dare. But it's incorrect. Right, what I'm going to do is just have fun on zip lines for the last five minutes. Yeah. Wait, I was going to wee on them, wasn't I? <laughs> but I don't need to go. I do now. <coughs> I need a little wee. You need a little wee? Yeah. Go on then, go before your big journey up the mountains. <laughs> well, I say this, we've, we've learned things on our end today. Hopefully we've educated you guys on something today. When I say we, I mean Rob. <laughs> Sorry, just when I said we, I just thought of urinating in yeah. the game again. It just made me laugh. Some people want to see them go over the waterfall. I mean, the waterfall is right there. Oh, go oh, go on. I don't know how you throw them, though. Just drop them in, right, I would have thought. I don't know how you do that. Can you stand in the water and then just, like, unload them? I guess you can. Let's try with this one. Yeah, try, try. <laughs> You're going for a I'm swim. I'm sorry you're so tired, Sam. I really should have rested by now, I know. I feel terrible. But... We well, gotta have you know, a nice swim. There's important things to be done. The chat went and tricked Rob into triggering a void out. You're not... It's not going to happen, though, is it? Ashley Gibson says, Google says corpses will explode after 24 hours, she thinks. We haven't got 24 hours to so, spare, I'm afraid. There's so many different... I mean, some of you were wrong. You maybe, can't all be correct. Maybe this can be a video in itself. So many questions, and we could just be like, how to cause a void out. I mean, I've saved it before I did all this, so I'm not... This isn't, you know, my save now. Yeah, so I'm not you really won't have bothered. a tide, Sam. I'm not going to have a void out if a void out does happen. Oh, there's a truck. Someone else had this idea. Yeah, someone's put a truck down there. Hey, there's my ladder. Hey, it's been like 66 times. Nice. Look at that. That makes makes you feel happy. I love the positive interaction in this game. Chat is moving so fast. PlayStation Access will never read this, says a wrong person. <laughs> ah, concerned <laughs> onlooker. How do you like that? Okay. I read your comment. Don't be feel happy about it. I mean, it. I've just fallen for the bait there, haven't I? For, for sure. It's okay. According to the chat, we've fallen for a lot of things in the chat today. <laughs> <laughs> he's not oh, having it he's, um, Sam I'm so sorry Sam is um, He's killed many men Oh he's really unhappy Okay so Oh just Just <laughs> stop moaning Oh my he's god He's really sad oh, I'm tired I'm sad Boo hoo I need a wee Boo hoo <laughs> Well, you're about to have a wee on this man's <laughs> dead body before I chuck it down a waterfall. <laughs> All right? Get over it. <laughs> this stream took such a turn. Right. Hey, look at my ladder, Rosie. 560 Oh, likes. my God. Look at that. It's a beautiful ladder, Rob. I know. Well done. I did a whole network of them with other players. There's a whole network of ladders going across here. So what I'm going to do... F Fine. Have a rest. We're in overtime now. Have a rest. Take if a that, breather. If that makes you feel better. <laughs> Everyone's excited for the waterfall. Have a drink. So you've got something there in the you tank. Go. Gives you more to have a wee with. Thank you, monster. Right, now stand up. Drop the body. Wee on it. Then throw it in the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for this. <clears throat> Offload. Right, let's put it down there first. It's not letting me wee. Why isn't it letting you? Can you wee, like, away from him, but then just subtly turn around and be like, oh, I didn't see you there, sorry. It's just not letting me wee here. Oh, he doesn't, oh, want, he to doesn't, do like doesn't it. want to do it here. Maybe weeing in the water Maybe is it's bad. a problem. I don't know. Who knows? Right. 
Let's just pop him in the water. I bet he's going to get stuck on a rock. That's why I'm going to try and get a bit further into the centre. So there are no rocks for him to get stuck on. And he just goes straight down. Oh, I'm so proud of that ladder. 561 likes. Right, so how are we going to make him fall in? I guess I could just go in and then... Can you, yeah, can you, like, go in the water? Oh, you've, we've really knackered him out, the poor... He's got, like, half his stamina bar! Ah. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, God. Look, just get him in the water, if we can. Does he want to go in? Right. Oh, come on, this... Come on. Get in there. Go on. Nice, that looks good, that looks good. Where is it? Is it gone? There, there it is! Go. There Bye. it goes! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Can we all just salute for this brave... Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 He's gone down there now. There he is. Shall I, shall I get swept down the waterfall just to see what happens? Yeah, should we just see what happens? Like, Sam, I've not been particularly happy with your whining <laughs> about being tired. <laughs> At this point, just jump off the waterfall, says Dennis Gallagher. I sort of agree with you. Da, da, da. How about you catch your breath in the water? Da, 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 da. Oh, my God. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I've not done this. Dun, dun, I don't know dun, what's going to happen. Dun, dun, what's going to happen? Dun. Who knows? Whoa! Off he goes! <laughs> well, now we might get a void out. I think so. <laughs> Everyone's paying their respects with <laughs> F. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what happens when you die in the game, ladies and gentlemen. You may encounter souls of other players in the scene. Touching them strengthens your connection, enabling you to share more items. This is so cool! <gasps> oh my god, like, you should die all the time! <laughs> it's worth dying! Oh my god! I've not died before. Is this my body? I think that's the other player's body. No, I think that's mine. <laughs> trying to see if there's anyone else's. Are these other strands here other people's souls? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think they are. <gasps> yeah. These are the, wow. <gasps> That's so cool. Connected to Clone 13. That is amazing. Look, I'm just floating. There's the waterfall. I'm sort of floating above it. Connected to you. So this is where other people have died as yeah. well. So it depends completely on your location. That's so cool. Come on. This is absolutely amazing. It genuinely is. Are there any more bodies? Well, we should end the stream, right? Game over. Yeah, down it's there. game over for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a what a beautiful way to end the stream. We got rid of a dead body. We died ourselves. In we go. Hello. And we're back. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Sam. <laughs> Has he just thrown up? Yeah, he he's thrown up the tar. Threw up tar. There we go. And he's still tired. Oh man, what a day! <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a bit of a day, hasn't it, for you, Sam? There's our truck full of dead bodies still up there. Right, I think that's all we've got time for on our stream today. I mean, um, hopefully the chat's learned something. Yes. We've learned new things on I've today's stream. I've learned, you know, many things. It's been, it's been a learning experience for me as well. I've learned what happens when you kill people. Nothing, apparently. <laughs> um, so some people think it's uh, a void out is going to happen. Um, but I mean, we'll find. I'm sure, like, whatever, someone will find out about all this stuff. As remember, the game's only just come out. And um, people will definitely know about it. And it's not a game that you want to look for a void out. What do you mean, Tiny Flamingo? I think I think we're 
we're going to have to probably wrap it up so that the overtime doesn't get too yeah. over overtimey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for your questions. I hope you. I hope I managed to answer some. Um, I will be going back to my normal save when I get home, <laughs> not killing loads of mules, wrapping them in plastic body bags, and uh, yeah. And I'll just be continuing my journey yeah. with the game, which doesn't have this much stuff in it yet, but I'm still loving it. We didn't see the zip line into the mountains, which makes me sad. As well, I know that someone asked if we could have a look at the map just to end the stream, just to see how big it is. I mean, this isn't the whole map either. This is just one area. There's like another area that you'll be in at the moment, Rosie, at the beginning. Oh, okay. Um, actually, no, wait. You'll, you are in this area, right? You've I'm got to this area. Lake Knot City. Yeah. And yeah, I'm in, yeah, I'm in the top right corner. Um, just to give you some context, when we, when we went to the weather state, that's where we started. The, no, where, where did I start the stream? We went from the weather station and we took zip lines all the way down to the Time Fool Farm. <laughs> and you saw how, you know, quite a distance that was. So that's that distance there. And you sort of get a sense for how massive how this big. entire area is. And, and this is one area. Huge and amazing. Where's my zip line network? Could I get back to it quickly? Just to. I really want to show everyone the, 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 the zip lines. What are you going to do? <sighs> All right. oh, we don't really have time, do we, sadly? We have to end the stream. We're going to, well, I'll start, sadly, I'll start wrapping up then. But also, thank you all so much for watching. Thank Steve you Stephen Lee says take 10 minutes to do a zip line. <laughs> what, that's I'm it? Just You've just been decided? I don't know. Maybe it's Dan's choice. It's Dan's decision. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let the, Dan, Dan the man decide. Dan says we can carry on. Yay! Yay. Do you want to carry on, Rosie? Yeah. <laughs> I want to carry on. I want to see the mountains. I'm sorry we interrupted you, um... I mean, my, he's so tired. My Sam is so tired. I don't even know if I can make it there. I know that Jarvis just said, Rosie, slow down. You're at Lake Knot in three hours, which is making me think maybe I'm not in Lake Knot. I'm still very early on in the game. I've just started Chapter 2. So wherever you are when you just start Chapter 2, that's where I am. I've got to build a post office. Okay, you're not on this map then. No. So I've you're the, the entire area of the game that you're in... It's different it's, to this. It's not even this area. You haven't even got to this area. You're okay, yeah. right. That, that explains it then. So this is like a more sort of realistic depiction of sort of the sedate nature. Because all we do is zip lines everywhere. Now you kind of get to see the... Oh, I just love this. Yeah. Like the meditative quality of this. Like the one foot in front of the other. You can hear his breath. You can feel how tired he is. Yeah. Like the air feels cold. I need to sing without you, kid. It's I've, just, it's so cool. Yeah. I like it as well. Like when you're, it, because there's the system on like what path is like kind of safe and not safe to really take. And you do like, even when you're climbing up the hills and stuff, you do feel that trench of yeah. like going up the hill. Oh, just look at it. It's stunning. It's ridiculous how good it looks. Man, I can't wait until I get a new TV on Black Friday and then play this. And it, yeah, I was going to say, if you are... Uh-oh. Oh. Rain? Yeah. Hello. If you are lucky enough to own a PS4 Pro and a 4K TV... Um, I've lost my microphone all of a sudden. I can't hear myself. What's happened? I can, can you, hear you. Can you hear me still? I can hear okay, you, Okay, that's yeah. fine. Um, as long as the stream can hear me as well. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if you're lucky enough to have a PS4 Pro and a 4K TV, this in 4K is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I find this game, personally, I found it really nice to play just before I go to bed. Like, you know, when, like, cause you yes. don't want, like, a heavy action game because then you're, like, you're buzzing and you're, like... But this is just a really nice, like, when the rain starts falling and stuff and... You're um, just walking in a beautiful environment. Or you could be madly shooting a load of mules you and could be. wrapping their bodies up and weeing on them and throwing <laughs> them over waterfalls, yeah. <laughs> I think this is one of my... Yeah, that's, that's one of the zip lines we travelled on earlier when we went from the weather station down to the Timefall farm down there. Sam, just get on with it, please. <clears throat> Batman says we can hear you, Rob, so that's fine. That's good. Batman's approved. Batman. Um, oh, I can hear myself again now. Uh, but even if you don't, even if you just, even if you just have a, 
just an HD TV and a standard mm. PS4, it looks unbelievable. I think I genuinely believe it's <coughs> certainly in terms of landscapes, the best looking PS4 game I've seen. It looks so good. I'm so excited as well just to play other PS4 games, see how good they look. Like God of War, that's what I've been waiting for. Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks amazing in 4 Shadow of the Colossus mm. is so good. Yeah. I really want to try Detroit as well. Yeah, that is another. I mean, they all. <laughs> They're all so they good. They look amazing. Here we go. No one's liked this zip line. People, get online, find these, these zip lines and like them, please. They deserve to be liked. Here we go. It's all right, Sam. You, your walking is over. So that leads back. We did this route before. That leads back down to the Timefall Farm. Yep. So we're going to go back up the mountain to the weather station. I'm really yeah. excited now to see if I will, like, if in my game I'll come across any of your creations. Because if I do, I'll message you instantly. I'll be like, Rob! We should form a bridge link as well. Yeah. Which is something you can do. And when you form a bridge link with someone, you're more likely to see their stuff oh, in your game okay. and vice versa. So I'll just cancel all my strand contracts that I've made already. Okay, so here we're at the weather station. That's where we came from. Now we're going up the mountain. Oh, you've got a lot of rainbows around here. Yeah, there are BTs around here. Ooh. But like I said, what can they do about it? I just love the, like, how you've walked all the way up here to even build I mean, build you do these. have to do it, yeah. The walk is difficult. Like, how on earth did you and climb I built up this? Whole this? Lot. I came, came at it from the other side. Like, I climbed up. I, cli I went from down. I went from up, down. Oh, my gosh. So, I walked this whole way. Um... Man, and it's, it's so stunning. satisfying, like these zip lines that you place are almost like a, a physical marker of where you've been. They're yeah. like a stamping your journey. And it feels great. Okay, so now at a a delivery terminal, there's a, a lady called the Roboticist there. The Roboticist? Um, yes, so nice. it's just another person you can deliver things. There's a customised truck. You can see oh yeah, there. I can see a nice little um, bit of cameo. And, but we're going to ignore her today and carry on through the mountains. We're just going for a scenic route. It's our break. Sam needed a rest. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's snowing heavily around here. This, I believe, is time for snow. So do I want to go to that one? I've forgotten where. I certainly don't want to go to that one. That's where we came. Dinashi says, the trek up the mountain is difficult, but so worth it. It's like, yeah, you, when you get there, when you do it, you feel like, oh, I did it. Yes. It's very rewarding when you finally sort of get through them. And the weather isn't always this terrible. I was going to say, like, like, I'm really feeling for Sam at the moment. When the sun comes out, this area looks absolutely just beautiful as anything. Poor Sam. He's so tired. He's so tired. He's so worn. tired and covered in just everything. And emotionally Help destroyed. Me. I've Help killed me. so many people. Ah. I've weed on people. <laughs> we didn't want to do that, did he? No. Well, he didn't want to weed in the river. I can't even see where I'm supposed to be going now. Yeah, here's... This is Mount Knot City. So, basically, I've ziplined over the mountains. Yeah. So we're on the other side of the mountains now. Oh, man. There we go. Now it's calming down a bit from the snow. But that is so... Up we go again. And there's some more people I deliver to. Uh, this is another one of my delivery routes. It's around here. This is part of the video I tweeted the other day. Oh, yeah. I saw that. And there's the doctor down there. So we've gone... All the way over the mountains, basically. Oh my gosh. See that? 202 likes on that zip line. <laughs> Look, I've got an Aloy there as well. Oh yeah, I can see her. So there we go. Beautiful. This guy's got a lot of likes on his zip wire, but... Yeah. Only connects it to yours. How come his has got more likes than yours? I don't know. Maybe lots of people have used his. Who knows? Maybe. 
But yeah, that's that then. Is this time then it to... It is. I think I'm going to give Sam a rest. I yeah, think that's give what Sam I'm going a rest. To do. The beacons are lit, says PlayStation Access. That's right. Gondor calls for aid. Yes. Well, in which case, while you make your way to get your well-deserved rest, I'll start wrapping things up. I so. Think so. So thank you all so much for watching the stream today. Um, thank you also to Domino and Oliver for being lovely, fantastic moderators at all. As yes, always, thank you very much. absolute gems. Thank you everyone for your questions as well. Yes. And thank you for your answers for when we've had questions. Uh, but I guess then we will see you... Well, you'll see videos coming up tomorrow and also streaming next week as normal and we'll everything. We'll be streaming next week as normal, yes. So... Um, let's just have a little... Let's watch Sam get on his bed and then we'll end. <laughs> Just, we'll it's going to be satisfying. Rest. The poor boy needs his rest. He's covered in snow and death. Snow, death. Bless him. Yeah, he looks so done with today. He's like, today was a terrible day. Daniel Elkins is out now. The game is out now. And we've also got to say thank you as well for our little BB for being on the show. Yes, thank little you, BB. Thank you, BB. Look, he's resting now. He's yeah, fine. he looks so done. <laughs> Oh, that was that was quite the stream. Stamina's back. We're all good. There you go. Rested, um, Sam. Yeah, we're ready to to leave. Um. Yes. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Yeah. Should we do the that's, happy that's fun the wave? End. I have nothing more to say. See you again soon. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the game. It's great. I it's love awesome. It. I love, it. I love the game. <laughs> <laughs>